Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Crafter with me, Vayfy. Yes, I'm laughing because that sounds like a meteor storm from hell going on. <laughs> which means it's one of the things that I want, which is super alloy. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not going outside, that's for sure. Oh my god, that, that literally landed on my head. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. What the heck? Should keep away from the windows for sure. Um, but a super alloy is what we were after. I'm sort of happy in a sense because at least there'll be a few just littered around. Because, as I previously mentioned, we need to do some of these. Has it finished? Which requires. Oh, God, I'm bouncing everywhere. Which requires a lot of super alloy. So as soon as this has done its thing. Do we have... Oh. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're still definitely coming in. They come fast. Right, that looks like the end of it. Jesus, those things are insane. Oh, hello. <laughs> Super alloy. So that was really good timing, actually. I was just in the process of moving more of the resources across from... Oh the main base and um, as I was doing it I was turning so I was picking up five at a time so I could turn them into super alloy and it seems the heavens decided to bless us why can I not get that oh come on oh there it was perfect yeah so I mean as much as I can't stand those things because they're super lethal and they've killed me <laughs> uh, it was it was perfect timing can we can we go up can we go on go on there we go. I don't know if any more landed on the roof. Ah, perfect. Oh, this this is just definitely a gift. A gift from the heavens, quite literally. I don't know if there's any else. Any any else? Any more scattered around? I'm not sure. What are you guys? Oh, that's titanium. There's probably some more. That they're quite, to be fair, they're quite hard to see, um, I find. Especially now we've got bloody grass and plants everywhere. <laughs> I know some landed over here, but maybe we'll just come across it in our travels. But anyway, that is that is what we wanted. So at least we can build at least one um, uranium alloy bar or whatever it's called with that, I think. So I'll be happy with that. Then I'll just grab the resources and construct the other one the old fashioned way. Because I'm definitely putting extractors over there. It's just a pain in the, in the arse um, to keep doing this constantly. Aluminium. So we're getting two of those. Okay. Let's crack on. Okay, we've got everything we need to put in two uh, extractors, tier two, and enough for two containers that I'm going to put in the building. So every time I come over here, if there's anything I want to keep, um, <laughs> which is entirely possible, what I'm sort of thinking in the long run is wherever you have, uh, say, a cluster of ore extractors, because realistically, I could probably do with, say, three or four of those things in each location. I should probably have the, uh, the, what's it called? I forgot its name. The da -da -da construction table thing. What's it called? There it is. Advanced craft station. I should probably have one of those there because then I can just instantly turn the resources into whatever we need. And I think that's probably the little setup that I'm going to do because at least that way we're getting something from it. Um, if, even if that's turning um, iridium into irid iridium bars, it's, it's less space in the inventory, isn't it? So actually, first first off, oh, we already have a container in here. Perfect. Well, now we're going to have another two. I always forget to hold control. <laughs> it's such a bad habit. Right, hopefully, hopefully this works. Because it seems... It seems that you can do this, so um, I'm not going to hold control on this initially. Let's see how close to the door we can put these in, so I don't have to walk too far in every time. I'm guessing once you're in here, that's enough. Yes, perfect. And bearing in mind, we still have the super alloy that is... Oh, did I not bring enough iridium rods with me? Oh, you're right back. Okay, I've uh, decided to... Oh, let me sandstorm. But I've decided to set up what I was saying, so we've got the... Um, super alloy cave there I've, I've even put this in here because it's just handy to know where we're up to 
and I've put a locker in for each of the resources we need for making super alloy. So, one, two, it is six, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I can fill these up either by the stuff that's outside here or by the stuff that we're going to get by proxy of trying to mine super alloy. And also, um, we did unlock something as I was doing that, and I was like, ah! And I, I couldn't. Unfortunately, the way I was editing it, <laughs> or will be editing it, should I say, I couldn't <laughs> just start talking because um, it, it sort of caught me off guard a little bit. But we unlocked uh, this thing, nuclear fusion, and we can make it. So energy 1625. Oh, my God. What is that? That's like four times what a what a nuclear reactor does. If I'm reading that, is that four times? Three? No, it's more than that. Holy crap. Okay, so we need two super alloy and five of those quartz thingies, which we definitely have. Albeit we don't have the super alloy. Now how quick these things actually work. Yeah. Quick 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 ish, I guess is the answer. So we can we can now build one of those, which is really nice. But because we've sort of set this up we can start dumping the junk straight away and i'm definitely going to do this in all the different areas um, but while we're here there is a cave over here what do we need for the beacon titanium silicon and aluminium okay i don't know if it will have all of that on the way magnesium um well we may have most of it but we may not have the aluminium. That's magnesium. Why do you always go for the wrong one? So, <laughs> wait a minute. That's magnesium again. It looks like iron, Vey. There it is. Um, yeah. What do we need? Aluminium. That's the one that I'm thinking we may not, may not get easily. Wow, this place looks completely different. Did we empty that chest? I don't know. We've definitely been here. Or at least, aha, perfect. And an aluminium. Bingo. And there should be a cave somewhere over here, according to the map, that has uranium in it. So that's why I'm coming over here, and I want to put a green... I don't... I'm going to take the zeal out. I was just thinking, we'd, we've not been using it too much at the moment, but... I don't think it's a bad idea to pick it up. I'm not too sure where over here that it is. But on the map, it said that there is one, so... Maybe we should just have a quick nosy around. Okay, I can't seem to find it. That doesn't mean it's not here. I, I probably need to consult with my map and, and have a proper look, um, which I can't do until I get back in the base. In fact, we'll take all of this. I have found a couple of blue chests while doing this, so thankfully we've picked up a little bit more super alloy, which means we can get straight onto that power. I'll be, you know, if, if we if we can afford to build enough of these things, we probably won't need the nuclear stuff. But I'm pretty sure he said there was a cave over here, so maybe it's something that we can look into afterwards. Uh, I'll leave that stuff because I can put that in. In fact, I'll dump some of the resources I've got in here ready and I'll see if there's any more super alloy too and then I'll head back to the base. Okay, we're back and we need 10 to... Um, okay, we're back and we need 10 pulsar quartz altogether for two of the reactors. So that leaves us with two. Um, and I think I saw you could craft this later on and we've um, got quite a bit of super alloy. Those extractors actually do work reasonably quick. I was quite surprised. And we're at 84% for trees. So once we get this extra power in, I'm assuming these go outside like everything else, but are they do oh, they're quite small. Can we put them inside? We can. Oh, we need a room for power now. We need a power room. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, actually, I'm just going to put them in for now. Um, doesn't seem to matter which way. There's no green arrow that I can see. Let's see what happens when... Okay. Fairly straightforward. And what am I missing? Oh, pulsar quartz. Did I not count right? I, I, I didn't. Yeah. I was there. I had my finger on control. I'm like, why is this not working? Oh my, we're gonna have so much power now. It's kind of a cool looking thing. It's a bit bright though. It's very pretty. So where is our power at now? That is just gonna be gonna be bonkers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We've got no excuse for not doing anything now. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I'm at 85%, so what do we do? Do we go for heat or... Do you know what? I think I'm going to run out and replace... Actually, which one takes the most resources? There's there's the question. 
So they take six super alloy. Osmium, I need to go and empty that later. The heaters take... Yeah, so that makes more sense. I think I'll replace all of the heaters. Right, let me go and take apart all the other ones. And then we can reuse the base that we have over here. Um, pretty much like I've got over by the super alloy as a place to refine um, all the resources. Again, into either iridium or super alloy. And these need upgrade into the to the bigger ones as well anyway let me let me get on with this and i'll be back in a second okay i've replaced all the heaters there's no heaters inside now oh we need a drink we, can, we can't <laughs> we can't be gone without some uh some h2o definitely not I, I might just drink a bottle i was gonna go down by the uh the river and take a sip but we'll do it that way so yeah um all the heaters are now tier four um we've repurposed the building inside the same as the one by the super alloy cave so we can make the stuff as and when we want and we're at 91 percent ah we need to do the drills but damn did they take a lot of super alloy and osmium i mean we need to trip over to the osmium cave as well realistically to um where are we osmium uh, we're not in a bad place with that to be fair that's uranium uh, let's put those in there and we'll put have we got any <laughs> one my lone super alloy let's go over to the uh, osmium let's go and clear that out we definitely need to put in uh, an extra one there we also need to go <laughs> and sort the uranium one out but that being said depending on how much that pulsar quartz we get i don't know if that's something we can mine or not it appears we can craft it at a later stage so we do have that option um so I'm a little bit unsure about how much more uranium we're going to need. If we're not going to need mass amounts of it, then I may just move the uh, the mine from there. I'm potentially one in the sulfur fields, I don't know. And then we still got that massive crater that we've we've not been to for a while. So, yeah. Did we put one in there? I can't remember, you know. Let's just take the osmium for now because... Actually, now let me take it all and we'll see. I can't remember if we, if we put one in here or not. I know we did to see if we could. I don't know if that was the end of it. Yeah, we didn't. Okay, that's fair enough. Grab some oxygen while we're in here. Okay. Well, let's head back. Um, clearly, osmium... Yeah, we're going to need some more. I mean, it's dotted around in other caves as well. We can put more of these in. In fact, is this the bigger extractor? It is, yeah. So we just need to you know, dump a couple more of them. It's just keeping an eye on the power, I suppose. Um, but in order to get to the next stage i'm pretty sure all we need to do is just upgrade some more stuff really or launch some rockets um we've definitely got some options there oh we're almost there 99.37 <laughs> oh my goodness and i've not seen a single tree that's, <laughs> that's just putting it out there usually you'd see something but i don't know if i guess because i've not had the tier one tree grower or planter or spreader or whatever it's called so I don't know if I'm missing something completely. But I've definitely not seen a tree, so... Oh, it's drills. I was wondering what the orangey thing was on the horizon there. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Oh, come on. Insects. Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting that. Wait, so we're going to have wildlife? Oh my goodness. Albeit... <laughs> Okay, that's not moving at all. I mean, either I'm doing really badly or... Potentially, that's not part of the game yet. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, because it still is early access. So where the hell is the tree spreader? Am I going absolutely... I'm, I'm lost. I, I don't understand. I really don't. Like, literally, we have... We have everything that we can currently have. As far as, I mean, like, we can't... Um, the blueprint thing is done. This stuff is all high level. So you've got tree spreader T3, T2, which is fair enough. Where's T1? I've literally, I cannot see it. And I, I don't know if I'm going absolutely mad or not. I'm, do you know what? I'm going to have a look through this menu really slowly and then I'll be right back. Oh dear, yes, yes. Sandstorm. Look. <laughs> right, I can't, I literally can't see it. So I'm guessing it, is, it may be something that i've not done enough of i'm not sure um i mean the newest thing that we've had 
Oh, actually, I don't know if it was oxygen. Yeah, oxygen was always there. Biomass is one of the newer things, so I don't know if it's something to do with that. But I literally can't see it on there, so I don't know if there's some, like, hidden technologies that you don't see. Um, yeah, well, this is the last video, I think, that I'm doing um, for my vacation. So the next video I'll do after this, I'm sure quite a few of you have probably going to have screamed at me to tell me <laughs> what the solution is. But on that note, until next time, as always... Take care.